Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Kendra with Cards by Kendra and today I'm sharing how to make a slimline shutter card. This video is part of the Team Tiny Video Hop to Live Creatively where members of the Team Tiny Facebook group will be sharing projects using products from TLC Designs. The owner Tammy is sponsoring this hop and is offering a $10 gift certificate to use in her online store to one lucky winner. To enter, you just simply comment on each of the videos in the hop. We'd also love it if you would consider subscribing to each of the creator's channels, if you like what you see, of course. You have until September 4th to enter, and the winner will be announced on the TLC Designs Creative Sharing Group on Facebook shortly after. For my project, I'm using the Crafty and Sweet Slimline Designer Papers that you see here. These are available to purchase as both a digital product that you can download and print yourself, and as a physical product that can be shipped directly to you. I've seen shutter cards made in the A2 card size and also 5x7, but I hadn't seen one in a slimline size before, so I thought I'd figure out the measurements and share them with you. First, I'm going to cut all of my cardstock. I'm taking a sheet of hot pink heavyweight cardstock and I've trimmed this down to 9 by 8 inches using my paper trimmer for my card base. And I'm cutting two layers for the front strips on each side of the gatefold. Once it's folded, you'll see what I'm going to be using these for. And these should measure 8 and 3 quarter inches by 1 and 3 quarter inches. Next, I'm cutting two strips out of the designer paper, and these should measure eight and a half inches by one and a half inches. Now for the inside of the card, you'll wanna cut the inside piece to measure nine inches by two and three quarter inches. And since my, my paper is only eight and a half inches long, my pattern paper, this is gonna need another layer, but I went ahead and cut this tan piece to measure eight and a half by two and a quarter inches. And then next I'll be cutting the black layer to measure eight and three quarter inches by two and a half. I kind of did this backwards. So um, I've got my, my blue inner piece and then the black layer and then the, the pattern paper on top. You don't have to use as many layers as I'm using here in my example because it will make the card really thick. But because my paper, my pattern paper wasn't quite long enough, I needed to have that middle black layer. Now for the two shutter pieces, you'll want to cut these by three and a half by two and a half inches. And then for the belly band piece, you'll want to cut a strip to measure one inch by 11 inches. Now the blade on my paper trimmer was dull, so the edges of the black strips were a little frayed. I usually take a sand eraser to rub along the edges to get rid of the little paper flakes. Now I'm using my scoreboard and I'm scoring the shutter pieces at half of an inch on the short edge and then I'm taking my card base and on the eight inch side, I'll be scoring this at two inches and again at six inches. Now I wanted to mention that there is a monthly challenge over at TLC Designs and it runs from the 15th of every month to the 14th of the next month. And this month's theme is birthdays. There's also a monthly sketch challenge. We'd love it if you could join us on the TLC Designs Creative Sharing Facebook group to get some card making inspiration and also consider on joining in on the challenges. They're a lot of fun. You can win some prizes to the TLC Design Shop as well just by participating. The links to the Facebook group and the TLC Design Shop are in the description box below. Now I need to cut out the little triangles out of the shutter pieces so that they will show the sentiment whenever you open the card. So I'm taking my T ruler and I'm marking the center at one and three quarter inches. And then from that mark, I'm gonna measure a half of an inch from the edge so I know where I'll need to cut. So I'm basically taking my scissors, starting from that first dot, cutting up a half of an inch, and then I'm taking from the corner and I'm gonna cut up to the top of that other cut line. So then you'll have these two triangle pieces um, that, that are scraps. And I'm gonna repeat this process on the second shutter. So while I'm doing this, I'll tell you a little bit more about Team Tiny. We are a group of crafters on Facebook who all have YouTube channels with less than a thousand subscribers. And we provide monthly video hops to give ad-free video tutorials to our viewers and help each other grow our channels. So if you have a YouTube channel and you have less than a thousand subscribers and you like making crafty things, look us up on Facebook. 
So now it's time to glue all of the layers together and begin assembling the card. I'm just taking the pattern paper and I'm gluing those down to the layers using some Nouveau Deluxe liquid adhesive. This allows me some time to scoot the pieces exactly centered like I want them. And these are going to be glued down to the front of the card base. Now the middle pieces, since there's three layers, it is pretty thick. And in hindsight, I kind of wish that I had cut out my circle first. But what I need to do is I need to cut out a circle of the middle strip so that the sentiment can be revealed when the card is open. But it's really difficult to cut through three layers. So I would suggest maybe cutting each layer before gluing these three pieces together. Because when I did this, it was very difficult. So you can either use a die cut or a circle punch. And um, so when I started out using my circle die, I taped it down using cement tape, but I had to keep running it through my Big Shot machine several times so that it would cut all the way through. Um, and I guess it pressed my mint tape into the paper so much that when I tried to remove it, it tore it. So you see that little white area there. So what I'm gonna do now is just cut another piece of designer paper to place on top just to cover the tear up. So in order for my circle to be cut out in the same spot as my original paper that I tore, I traced the circle on the back side so that I could punch this out using a circle punch. So now I'll be stamping the sentiment that will show through the circle when you open the card. So I'm taking a scrap piece of 80 pound Nina Solar White cardstock that I've trimmed down and I made sure that it's not wider than that middle strip. And I'm tracing the circle from that middle piece onto the white cardstock so that I'll know exactly where I need to stamp the sentiment. And I just did this lightly with my pencil. I'm using my Misty stamping platform and the Alicorn Happiness stamp set from TLC Designs. And I'm taking the Hey Cutie sentiment and placed it in the middle of that circle. And I'm stamping this using some Jet Black Ranger Archival ink. And I'm doing this several times just to make sure that it's nice and bold. And while I have this out, I'm stamping the little butterfly and the little bee stamps from the same stamp set using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink since it's Copic marker friendly. And I'll use these to decorate the inside of the card here in just a little bit. So here I am just lining up the sentiment behind the circle and I traced the corners of the rectangle piece so I'd know where to glue it down. In order for the shutter piece to work properly, you want to make sure that you line up the edge of the shutter piece with the scored line of the card base. You want to butt that edge up to the corner and you'll do this on both sides. And then in order to apply the middle strip, so that the shutter card will work it needs to be raised up just a little bit so that the shutter pieces will have room to move and so to do that i'm using some foam strips across the top and the bottom making sure to line up the edges when i apply it to the card base Now for the belly band, I'm taking the 11 inch strip and I'm scoring it at three and one quarter inches and again at seven and a half inches. Now this is the piece that will slide over the top of the card to keep it closed. So in order to decorate this belly band, I'm using the oval piece and the little butterfly pieces from the butterfly rectangle die set from TLC Designs. I cut each of these pieces out of some cardstock in the hot pink, blue, and black colors. Now for the oval piece, I decided to use the pink one, and since the little decorative pieces on the ends didn't cut all the way through, I decided just to add some mint tape to the back just to keep them in. 
and I'm layering the black decorative pieces on top and I assembled the butterfly using the blue and black cardstock pieces that I cut out and so here I'm just assembling that now I also wanted to tie in the hearts on the belly band with the hearts on the pattern paper on the inside so I also added some white hearts and then I glued the ends together of the strip um, on the back side now if the recipient has never seen this type of card before it might be a little confusing to open and so what I wanted to do was stamp the word slide onto a little strip of white cardstock to put on the back of the belly band and this would kind of help them to know what to do with that belly band and these come from the action stamps from TLC designs and then next I colored the little butterfly stamps with some Copic colors that match the pattern paper off camera and then after testing out the belly band making sure that it slides on and off well I realized that that oval piece needed a little bit more support so I added another die cut and heavyweight black cardstock to the back and then reattached it to the belly band. So here I'm just gluing down the little butterflies on the edges of the circle next to the sentiment. And then to finish off the card, I added some black rhinestones to the die cut butterfly and then some gold hearts to the oval piece. And then of course I glued the stamped slide thing onto the back. I didn't add any more decorative elements to the front of the card because I wanted the belly band to be able to easily slide on and off. And this is my finished card. I really hope you like it. If so, click the thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment so you can be entered to win the store credit. Also, please consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. To find the next video in the hop, you'll want to click on the hashtag in the description box to live creatively hop or type it in the YouTube search box. This will pull up all of the videos in the hop. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.